What is up guys, Fly here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more War Thunder. Today we have a request by Shane Lee Yang, the Chieftain in the Canberra with a humble 32 upvotes. Now guys, remember, if you want me to play a certain thing, get that vote on in the comment section below. It helps me uh, choose the video and it gives you guys what you want to see next. So let's talk about the Chieftain real quick and why it's my favorite high tier tank in the game. Now I will say that the Leo is still better in my opinion. Just because you have that mobility, you have that gun depression to get into a really good spot early game and rain down 400mm pen penetrating heat fin stabilize. But the reason why I like the Chieftain a lot is that it has good mobility, has really good depression, or for this caliber of a tank. Um, and also that depression allows your turret just to poke up a little bit and you're such a small signature that some people won't even see you poking with that uh, small turret. Also, it does have enough armor, at least um, above the lower glacis, to deal with AA. That's only from the front, though. The ZSU might still be able to get through us on the bottom, uh, but that uh, uh, slope might be able to ricochet some shots. 76 millimeters thickness, effective thickness right now is 133, and it does change without with however we look at it. But that gives me some confidence that if I see a ZSU, um, I can properly aim and maybe get the gun barrel offline and panic with the Leo because I know if he shoots me once, he's going right for my gunner and after that, it's game over. Now, the problem is with the Chieftain that if you play it right, you won't have to worry about it, is that its side armor is horrendous and um, it's 37 millimeters thick. So literally anything, any AA at this tier will go through it, even probably a, a Whirlwind or even an Ostvin. Um, but the Kugel Blitz, ZSU 37, um, what else? The ZSU-57, those are going right through it. Uh, also, its gun is, I think, the best gun in the game. 120 millimeter, <sighs> so high velocity. It's so easy to aim at long distance because all you got to do is put him in those, uh, like, nine lines and it, it's going to hit a part of the tank. Also, its reload rate is unbelievable. Fastest reloading 120 millimeter in the game. But before we jump into battle, let me just get this camo right. Let's get the condition all the way up so it looks nice and fresh like I'm out of the factory. So we have a Canberra, a Lancaster, a Conway backup, and a Hunter uh, for the game today. Now the Hunter, man, let's let's check these rounds out real quick. We have a ground target of 47 millimeters, man. That can deal with a lot of... Um, anti-aircraft in the game and if we get a proper shot on a engine deck of a t-54 check this out it's going right damn it we got to be like this <laughs> we can do this all right but if we're like if, if we come in like this no no maybe maybe right here this is our signature that we're going to have a look or the silhouette we have to look at to uh engage uh but those aiden cannons man if you get them top down oh dude let's check this out real quick too bad that this is sloped right... Ooh, dude, we're. I think we're going to try it today. If we can get a, a top-down approach on a 54, we're going to try to aim right on his right side uh, to get that ammo. 31 millimeters penetration. Hunter has uh, 47 millimeters with that ground target. But all right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Tango front. Okay, so that's a T-54. It looks like a 1947 version. Oh, we're giving him the beans right now, though. Get a little more on the left side. There we go. Tango down. We didn't... Oh, we hit some random ready racks on the bottom of his tank for the kill. Okay, moving a little bit more here. I'm kind of spooked from my right side. Or my left side, excuse me. Damn, this is badass. Okay, t t him down. Up, Tango right here. Saw him back up. I'm gonna maintain this position for a second. What the fuck? He just bounced off my tracks? Lol. Okay. <laughs> that was super lucky, man. Now, I stopped looking over there because we had two, um... Where do these come from? Leo, 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 Leo. Got his gunner. That was clutch. A 
Yeah, he's down. Dude, I'm getting so lucky this game right now. I should have been dead twice. I really want to get off this side of the uh, canal. It's pretty dangerous right now. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Another track! Where did that come from? I saw I saw the tracer last second. We're repairing the tank right now. Okay, the right side is still protected by that one uh, chieftain. Is that gonna fall in the water? Oh my gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shit. Okay, can we move? We gotta hide behind this one chieftain right now. Can't block this guy in though. Repairing the uh, gun barrel. 14 seconds. Oh, I saw it coming in. Now that guy was sniping from. Wow. Oh my gosh. Now he hit. Damn, dude. That's a pretty risky shot to take, but he was on higher altitude. Now we can spawn in. Let's see what we can do. Oh, we need some more points for the Canberra. Okay, but we have another chieftain back up. Let's bring that thing back in. And I'm going to go on the right side of the map. I'm surprised he, he didn't shoot that guy in front of me. He shot me, but I think he thought that I knew. Well, he, that's exactly right. I knew where he was. Now, if he sniped me from way over there, let's see if we can snipe him. No, wait. I think he's by this windmill, right? Yeah, that, that would make more sense. Okay, he's pushing a little bit more. Ah, oh, there he is. I can see him right here. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. Let's let one fly. Is that too high or too low? He's moving though. He's relocating. No, he's still there. Let's just relax. Take a better shot this time. That's coming right for me. Oh shit, push up. Oh, thank gosh. Wow! Payback is a bitch, dudes. Oh, man. We fucking, like, went right below a house, too, for that shot. Beautifulness. That is payback. My god, I love this gun so much. Okay, so we redeemed ourselves from that engagement over there by the SU-122. Now, he's going to be pissed like me. I wasn't really that pissed. That was a good shot on his part. Uh, but we, we're, we're going to get on the move right now because he might be hopping in a bomber trying to find us again. Now, this tortoise looks like he's being shot at by something. Okay, tortoise just killed a Leo. we got to watch this left side, too, because all these Leos are just running rampant over here. All clear for the meantime. No, I don't feel like, that, like, like there's really anybody over there anymore. We're going to push over here to the right. Stop the damn tank. Oh. Luckily, this thing has some good brakes. Now, who just tried to bomb me right there? That was not... Oh. That was not a, oh gosh. It wasn't a Horton that dropped the bombs, but that guy can easily kill me from the top down. Let's get in some cover if we can. Go, Chieftain, go. Move, 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 move. Okay, Tango in front actually right now. We got a T-54. I can't really see him right here, but we're going to fire right over this ridge if we can. Moving up. He's got me on his lock, but we got Mr. Rockproof on his right side about to engage. T-54 just went back into cover. We're going to take this real estate from him right now. This is some good real estate right here. This is a good spot. Misses ammo by a little bit, but his driver is dead, so he can't... Ooh, no, 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 no. That, I don't know what just hit us. It's probably that Horton. We're on the repair, though. We gotta get a little bit more inside of this right here we're gonna aim. 
Hmm, that's bringing us right where... Hmm. Oh, he, he moved... Ah, oh, damn! Horton, get out of here, dude! Uh, I don't think we're gonna live too much longer with this Horton above us. Our gun's operational, though, so that's a good thing. Is it a... Oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Damn it, dude. We fucked... Oh, he missed us! I'm surprised that Sabo bounce. Like, at 400 millimeter penetration. But, uh, next shot, we won't go for that angle. Okay, we gotta repair twice here, it looks like. Now, I don't know how these T-54 ammo racks are happening when I'm not aiming at their ammo. I had to go more for the inside of the track there just because I, I couldn't risk another bounce on the left side. Okay, so we're operational again, we're moving up. I hear a plane incoming. Moving. It's getting really close too. Those are some rockets. What is this? I-185? Oh man, he, he's doing some crazy maneuvers right now. Okay, we're capturing A. Don't need to capture C right now. I don't want to go over that target when there's planes up, up and about. There goes a Horton. Whoa, I think we could have shot right there, but I lost him in the background. You know, actually, I think there's not many more tanks left. All that are left are the, the pilots above. I am so glad that that Horton didn't come and finish me off. All he had to do was set me on fire two more times and I couldn't... I wouldn't have been able to extinguish. Okay, we got some shots coming in from the middle of this uh, market over here. We're gonna push in. I see his signature, or his chevron. Don't see his tank though. I think he's right over here around the corner. Go for his ammo if you can. Okay, there we go. Fucking love this. Love this tank so much. Alright, let's get into some cover. Don't want to get spawn killed from their spawn if that makes sense at all. Woo! So let's take a look at that uh, ricochet we had on the T-54. Uh, we'll use the one with the most armor on the upper glacis, and that's the 1947. Surprisingly enough, this one has 20 more millimeters of armor compared to the 54, uh, 49, and 51. Okay, so I, I don't think it was this guy, but we'll just go ahead and um, uh, work with it. Now, we it seemed like it was this angle here that we engaged him at. So let's see what the armor is. So, now, from people on Twitter, in my experience um, from you guys, the feedback... Apparently, Sabo has a higher chance of ricochet just because of how narrow it is. Um, so even though this effective thi thickness is only at 252 millimeters of armor, it's sloped at 60 degrees. And I don't know, I, I'm not a physics major, but um, we have vertical and horizontal slope being engaged. Is that, what, what, would, would that make the slope even more drastic? Because here we have just a normal slope going in one direction, you know. But here we have two different axis, axes of slopes. We have the Y and the X slope trying to counteract the shell. And so the question to you guys, do you think that was a fair, a fair ricochet um, in the War Thunder engine? Because we got to keep in mind that our shell has 400 millimeters of penetration. Look at this beast. Now, maybe 395, 397 millimeters of penetration. But does the Sabo have the same effect with that much slope compared to like an APBC or APCBC? So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. But let's get into some more action. All right, so welcome to the second battle. Now, I have no idea how we bounced that many rounds last game. We bounced a, a shot from the... 54 initially, or whatever shot us from the front. I think we bounced one from the SU-122-54, whatever that thing is called. And then we bounced one from the Leo. And I don't know if it was just a subconscious decision by my brain to angle me a certain way, but it worked out flawlessly. And uh, 
we're just going to try to replicate that in this battle ahead of us. Now, we we had some urban combat le last game, and I think we're going to stick with that uh, motive here. We're going with some more urban combat today, following some teammates into the battle. It was just pretty cool last game on Eastern Europe. We had a, a three-deep convoy of uh, chieftains. A lot of fun right there. But let's see what we're going to do this game. We got um, a chieftain posting up right here. That's a good position for early game. I think we're going to get more into this city. Okay, let's see if we can turn our heads here. Yep, we got a whole heap of trouble moving up. We got a 54 camping and a T10M camping. He might turn left here. Let's call it to our teammates to give him a warning. Okay, let's see if we can get in position to engage him. Tango front. Just missed a shot of him though. He went right behind this house in front of us. Good job, Mega. He killed that T10M that just flanked. Just gonna stay here for a little bit more. That's my fault. I don't know why zero was pressed at all right there. I think because when I was trying to type T10M, it popped up. We got a Leo who just passed us. So we're gonna go hunt him down soon. Now, still on this corner, we get that that T54 still here. Nope, looks like he's dead. Okay, we're gonna push him. Okay, guns forward. Alright, we're gonna stand by here. I think there's an enemy down our right side. And the block over. There he is. Now, where's this guy's ammo? Oh, well, we found it. Okay, reload is up. Here is ZSU, or maybe that's a, 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 a 42. My back's pretty secured right now. God, I love that Sabo. It can, it, it just, imagine being the driver right there, man. You're not gonna have a good day after that. We got another tank pushing up over here to our left. Let's see what he does. Wow, this is a great position right now. Three tanks down in a row. We're we'll gonna let this guy pass if he wants to. Beautiful stuff here. We're gonna push him with his T32. We've done enough this game, I believe, for a, um, a Kanbara. Dude, this is badass, man. Uh, how many points do we have? Okay, so we can die at any time here. And actually, I think I'm going to get in the Canberra right now because we are starting to cap the game. All right, so here we go with the Canberra. Now, I want to talk to you guys about why I was just chilling there for a little bit. I don't know if this happens with a lot of players, but I'm sure it's sure some of you guys uh, share the same understandings. Is that as you play War Thunder enough, you'll start to get this spidey sense of where to just chill and relax because sometimes going to the action isn't the best uh, call of duty. Uh, some of the best tactics are just to relax, chill out, and let everything come to you. Okay, bombs away. Those are gonna miss. He just stopped, but maybe, actually, nope. Those are gonna hit. Beautiful. Kugel Blitz down. Full power here. Now we have seven bombs left. Holy shit, what was that behind? What the hell? Something almost just wrecked me from the rear. Yeah, look, th there goes that shot again. Now we're a big target. We're not moving too fast, so the next shot that comes in, we're gonna have to kinda see if we can find it and maneuver. There he is. Oh, we got some flankers. That second bomb was pointless. 
missed. Had a little brain fart right there. Coming back around. We got five bombs left. If only the Canberra was a little bit smaller, it'd be easier to bomb. But we do have a bombing reticle, so all is good. We got a bomb in front of them while they're moving, because they're not really going to stop moving. They're going to keep going forward. Those are beautiful. We got them. I, I couldn't even see the bombs, but we got them. Three bombs left. Yeah, because when you're uh, bombing, uh, a lot of the time, players are just going to keep their momentum going instead of stopping. And so with that understanding, you really just want to lead the bombs to where you think they're going to go. And when that happens, no, most of the time, they'll just drive right into it. All right, so we have a danger close situation here. This 40 millimeter um, can probably get through his rear. I don't know, though. We're going to uh, stand by for a little bit and come back around and see what happens. Enemy plane up, though, looks pretty hefty. Hostile team is capturing B. Let's get back on target. We got three bombs left. We need to RTB. Good strike, 82. Contact front. Tiger. Pulling away, pulling away. Ah, poor bombs. Poor bombs right there. We're we got an RTB. Now, I think there's an enemy in the sky. But hopefully this top speed we can get with this thing, we can outrun him here. Oh, he's still struggling to get in combat. That has to be a bomber. All right. So let's relax here. We had a good run with those nine 500-pound bombs. We're going to RTB, reduce power. We're on final approach. Nice close runway to the combat. Now, hopefully this guy doesn't come and bomb me, because that would be horrible. Okay, air brakes out. Now, where are these things air brakes? Right on the wings. Beautiful design. Flaps, maybe? Okay, combat flaps are out. Landing flaps are out. Gear's still up. We're going to get really dirty now. Gear down. God, this thing slows down so fast. Look at those flaps. Okay, we need some power here. Air breaks up. Good. Now, we have a big wingspan, so we don't want to be too fast on touchdown. Let's get on the ground and use those brakes. Our front wheel down. Beautiful. Now we did float for a little bit, but thank gosh this thing's able to uh, come in at a pretty slow airspeed and uh, maintain stability. All right, so we have landed now. Holy crap, dude! I we really just shrecked their team. We really just did. They only have one player left. Okay, so we're losing. Okay, hostile team is capturing the zone. All right. I thought we would have won the game by now. All right, carpet bomb incoming. No contacts yet. One away. Just to scare him. <laughs> How did we get that bomb to go where we wanted it to? And also, it seemed like there was a water puddle there, because a lot of uh, uh, water popped up out of nowhere, even though there's just grass underneath them. All right, so that was nice. Now, they're, I don't know if they've stopped, mm, they've stopped capturing the zone or it's just going back to neutral. It might still be on it, so we'll uh, go back in for another strike run. Who knew 500-pound bombs would be so damn effective? Team has stopped capturing the zone. That means one person had to have leave, and here he is right now. We're gonna pull out from there. Oh god! Oh god! Got one down. We almost just ate shit right there. I saw a Yag Tiger last second. 
Wellington! Wellington, I see it, I see it, I see it, Wellington! <laughs> Did he get the kill? No, he fucking missed, damn it. I come back around for that, uh, Yag Tiger. Okay, he should be right around the corner. We can't drop a bomb if he's that close, because we'll kill our teammate here. I hear a ZSU. No, that, those are the 40 millimeters again. We got a T-10M back in the action. Whoa. There goes an ME-410. That thing's probably got, that's probably the uh, 30 mil MK-103 version. Matt Damon. Shit, man. I don't think we were even pulling that hard. Rip. Fuck, dude. When everything's going your way and you gotta ruin it because you suck. Damn it! Okay, the good thing is, though, we have the Hunter. Okay, so let's load up some ground target ammunition and let's see if we can um, kill some tanks from dive bombing uh, with this Hunter 47mm uh, penetration. Now, we'll probably actually only get maybe 30 millimeters of penetration, so I don't know what will happen. Let's, we'll, we'll fucking find out. But the good thing is, is that I think we have enough, dude, we've lost, how do we lose so many tanks? Hmm, how many points do we have left? We have, ooh, we, okay, good, we, we have enough for a Conway. All right, so if all, if all shit fails, we'll be able to take the Conway out and then hopefully win the game. Now, where's that ME-410 at? Because I want to kill him first. We're going to uh, try to do a uh, dive bomb strike here. Or a diving gun run. Nice. We're capturing B. There goes a the T-10M. We got a new tank coming in, though. Pulling up. Now, that looks like a Coelian. Never mind, he's dead anyways by the um, pan uh, by the BD the BTD. He killed him with bombs. That was a Panther F, I believe. Going back around, hostile team has lost all of their vehicles. Good game, good game, man. That's a fun combo, dude. The chieftain and the Canberra. Imagine if we had the nine one thousand pound bombs, though. That's the way to do it. All right, guys, but I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more War Thunder, please vote on the next combo we take out in Tank RB. That game, we had seven kills. I think five with the uh, Canberra B Mark II. Now, recently, they have decreased the assault time in um, Tank RB. I think it's a 1.5 seconds now, which, honestly, I had no problem with the, I think, the um, five-second or the four-second one. Um, if you learned how to drop bombs predicting where they would go, you could still get kills. But, um, you know, with this new... Wait, we have four kills? What? Did I say five? I apologize if I said five. Um, but, uh, yeah, bombing is much easier now with the new um, upgrade uh, or decrease in time for the bomb to go off. But, guys, until next time, do me a favor. Have a great day. Peace out.